Good morning, guys. Today, a brand new trailer dropped for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. We're going to go ahead and watch it, and then I'll analyze the different parts of it. The game looks great. Explore Kanto like never before. Hey, the bug catcher. Magikarp. My boy, Gary Oak. Or Blue. What's up, Oak? Bond with your partner, Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, you can pet him. Your partner can be male or female. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, there we go. Bowl cut. Ride select larger Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Find hidden items. Oh, here we go. My man Brock. Misty, all right. There we go. This looks good. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Available November 16, 2018. There is a lot for us to go over in this trailer. This trailer looks amazing. There is so much going on. And I am super pumped for this game to come out. There is so much in this trailer for us to go over. So let's go ahead and check it out. Immediately, the graphics look fantastic. This game is going to be on the Nintendo Switch, so you guys know that it's going to be a big upgrade from the 3DS. I'm looking forward to checking out everything. This is where we get to explore Kanto like never before. You can see that we're riding around on Charizard, and I have to give that a 10 out of 10. I've been waiting to ride on a Charizard like that since I was a kid. If you told me we'd finally get to do it on like a random route, fly around, I, I'd think it, you'd be crazy, you know? It's awesome to get to see it here. And it's about time. We also get to ride around on the Lapras, and that's great. If you guys have played through Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, recently there's been a lot of changes with the HMs, so you get to use the Pokemon more specifically rather than have to teach them a move. And I really like that. I like the way where they're taking that direction, and I hope that they continue doing that here in this game. It'll be a big upgrade if they continue to use Pokemon as you know what you need to get through areas instead of using moves. I think that makes that a lot more fun and leaves it open for a lot more room for puzzles and challenges. And then you can also use your favorite Pokemon as you need, which will be very, very cool. We get a look at the bug catcher here. And if you get to see the background of it, check out the scenery. It looks great. This is going to be awesome on the Switch. The bug catcher looks pumped. The Caterpie is ready to battle. You can see that he's got like his little side kit with him too. Pikachu looks awesome. We get a look at a little Magikarp that's following around our trainer. I guess the Magikarp just kind of splashes behind you. That's something to be noted, something to keep in mind. And there we go, we get a look at our friendly rival, our boy Blue, or Gary Oak. It's funny, our friendly neighborhood rival, just chilling around here, huh? He's gonna be really friendly. He's got himself his Eevee as well. We got our boy Pokemon expert, Professor Oak. Looking good, man. Looking good. And this is a look at Route 1. This is where you first run through the patch of grass and get your Pokemon. This is where, you know, the big dog stops you if you guys have played through the original games. Red, blue, yellow. Kanto region's going to be a lot of fun. Getting a look at Route 1 like this, it's, it's wonderful. And I never thought I'd get to see the day. And I guess here it is. We finally are going to get to get a cool region in 3D. And it looks wonderful. Imagine the other routes that we're going to get to see. The girl trainer looks great. Looks like they're freaking out over a Pokemon or something here. 
And that is where we get to choose our Pokemon. I'm looking forward to choosing a Pokemon here. So this is pretty cool to tell you the truth. It looks like he's picking something out. We'll have to find out more about it. You know, I'm not gonna spoil everything here. Even though I don't really know how much they have changed from the other games. We get to bond with your partner Pokemon. And that's always great. I really enjoyed this in previous games. I like giving your Pokemon like jelly beans or petting them. I think that's cool. You can see that they have the berry from Pokemon Go. So that's what you're going to be using to give to these Pokemon. Doesn't look like we're going to get jelly beans or anything like that from Alola. But we do get to pet our Pokemon. Got to make sure we keep our happiness up. It'll probably be a big benefit. Your partner could be male or female. So they are giving you the choice. It looks like they're giving you a lot of choices in this. Now this is something big. This is what I've been waiting for. You get to customize your partner and your character. This is it. We need more customization in games. It's so cool to get to see Pikachu with like a little safari hat, a little camo. And then we get to see the Eevee here with a little bow tie and a little hat. It's really great to customize your character. I really think that it gives everyone just a, a sense of individuality that is needed in Pokemon. So that when you go online and battle, it is something different. And there we go. Check it out. Camo pants. I, you know, it looks like there's just like a, there's just a little safari hat hovering. There's just a couple clothes hovering around here. You know what I mean, guys? I don't really see where our trainer went. To the right, we have the girl trainer as well. Looking pretty fresh in those outfits. So, both the trainers are going to look cool. Check these out. The hairstyles is something I've been looking forward to. Look at this Eevee with the bowl cut. Look how happy that Eevee is. I'm about to get myself a bowl cut. Just to match. You know what I mean? I'm going to get a little bowl cut just to match the Eevee. It's so cool getting to choose a little hairstyle for your Pokemon. Yeah, you know, we've seen certain Pokemon like Pikachus with different hairstyles in the anime. So about time our Pokemon get some different hairstyles. It's much needed. Much needed. We get a Charmander following around our trainer. We get a look at a couple routes here, which is really good. They look pretty simple, but these are the first routes. So we'll have to see how much crazier they get and how much like better and how much the terrain changes as we move through the different cities. Travel together, we get a look at a little Bulbasaur. We got a little Squirtle here. I definitely like this. We get to ride select larger Pokemon. So as you can see, you can ride on just about anything it looks like because we get ourselves a look at an Arcanine. Now you guys know I'm a big, big fan of Arcanine. Arcanine is one of my favorite Pokemon. I have a special place in my heart for Arcanines due to my puppy rush and I'm telling you guys it's just a very very nice thing that I have some Pokemon Pokemon Go that I want to be able to transfer over and it's gonna be really really cool to get to use that here and you know it's got a little significance to me so it'll be cool to keep that going here in the Nintendo Switch and you know it'll be cool I hope you guys can join me on this journey it's gonna be fantastic we get a look at our Pokemon finding items for us so that's also very very interesting i have to tell you i like that a lot it feels like our pokemon is going to be way more handy they're going to be able to help us out a lot more and maybe that's the reason why they really want us to have them following us battle gym leaders you can see the first gym here looking very nice and polished let's take a step inside where we can see our boy brock and the gym just looks great. There's even seats you can see. There's like seats that they have. That, that's just so cool. Their seats look awesome. Our boy Brock looks so strong and ready to battle. He definitely looks like a gym leader. You can see that the arena is big too. It looks a lot like the arena in the anime. If you watch the first time Ash battled Brock, it was a big place. Like it was a really, really big warehouse. So it looks like they finally done it. We got Misty coming up too, and Misty's gym looks fantastic. You can see the Squirtle in the background. It's very awesome to get to see how nice and decorated they are. So I'm telling you guys, some of the different areas we're going to get to are going to look absolutely amazing. They've really put in some time into these gyms. Co-op play. This is something that I've been wanting to talk to uh, you guys about because co-op play is going to be awesome. If you guys want to see a co-op Let's Play with one of my friends like munching orange hit that like button leave a comment 
let us know, tweet it out, you know, me and the Munch have been wanting to do something together and it's definitely something that we could do in the future. As you can see, you can run around together with your friend and do a co-op play. This is really, really amazing. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I've been wanting to go through a Pokemon adventure with friends and it's something that we've always wanted to do since we were kids. Imagine having someone there with you in little like red and blue. It would have been just different. It would have been very, very cool. And I'm glad we're finally getting that experience. When Nintendo needs to, you know, put a little bit more multiplayer, a little bit more interaction in their games. And I'm really glad to get to see this. The battling looks good. Very, very clean. And there we go. We get to see both trainers out. So each trainer gets to send out a Pokemon. That's a little OP. You're like 2v1ing people. Battle together. So we get to see the big battle arena. And it definitely looks amazing. Battling is definitely something that needs to be improved and worked on. So I hope that this game will be a stepping stone in the right direction. I've had the chance to play on a lot of Pokemon Battle Simulators. I've had a lot of different of experience on it. And it's just a little bit harder to find Wi-Fi battles and to really get competitive on just the Pokemon games that they've had. I hope that this will change that up a little bit and make it much easier for people to battle. The trading looks cool. And last but not least, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This game is available November 16, 2018. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. Pokemon is out here making some fantastic games. So make sure you stay tuned. As I said, I'm going to have a Let's Play on my channel on day one. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this type of video, guys. I'm planning to do more trailer you know, responses and little things in the future. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. And I will see you guys in the next trailer analysis. Hopefully we get some more footage very, very soon because the game looks great. Catch you guys next time. Goodbye.